All right, guys, today we're going to make a game day charcuterie board. I know your wife has a charcuterie board that she uses with her friends, but we want a game day charcuterie board. We don't want nothing that's got, you know, cheese and all that, and you can put on it what you want. You can put meat if you want to or whatever you want, but we want a thick charcuterie board that's made for when the boys come over on game day. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is select our wood. We've got some wood in the kiln out here. We're going to see what we got. As I'm looking in the solar kiln, I see some smaller pieces on top, but now that, that piece looks a little too big, but I don't want to have to dig through all this wood, so we're going to make this work. It's a good thick piece. We'll cut us a straight line here, have one side straight, and this will be our game day charcuterie board. Now this board is 16 inches by 44 inches. One and a half inches thick. Now obviously we don't want it that wide, but we are, we do want a big charcuterie board. We want it to be able to fit in our plan. So we're gonna cut off about four inches and make a straight edge on one side. But we're gonna leave this, we're gonna leave this knot here I think that's going to be really good looking. Maybe some, some crotch wood in that. But, and then we're going to trim it down to about 30 inches. It's going to be a mammoth of a board, but it's not going to be as big as it is right here. Now, since we're using a mammoth of a board, I think it's only necessary to use a mammoth of a saw. It's a 10 and a half inch a uh, skill saw, worm drive. I think it's one of the bigger ones that they make. So we're going to, I think they do make a 13, but we're going to use this 10 and a half on this massive board. All right, now that we got this massive charcuterie board cut in half is where we want it, uh, we're gonna cut it to length. We want it to be 30 inches in length. Keep watching to the end because I got the last step of the charcuterie board for a game day charcuterie board. The last step is gonna be the is gonna be the most important. <laughs> video but I'm, my saw is having trouble to get through that thick wood so this is what we got now squared up we got the live edge on one side and this thing is thick now even though the last step is going to be the most important my favorite step is running it through this dewalt planer because i get to see what the board's going to look like so that's our next step is running it through here Here's the white oak game day charcuterie board after we get it out of the planer. You can see the grain. You can see this is a limb here, swirls. It's really nice. Uh, that's some end grain here from a limb. So 
So now we're going to sand this thing off and try to get to the last step, which is the most important. So stick around. Don't leave before the last step. Now on the sanding, we're going to go from 120 up to 220, maybe 300. <laughs> All right, we got this thing sanded. Let's move on to put some uh, mineral oil on it. Now, we're going to put some mineral oil, but that's not the last step. You got to wait to the last step. If you don't wait to the last step, your wife's going to take this board and use it for her tea parties. So you got to do the last step. And look at that board once the mineral oil is put on it. That's white oak. That's the reason why I'm telling you guys. If you don't do the last step, your wife's going to take it. Look how good that looks. I got to let this dry, then I'm going to come back and do the last step. All right, guys. We're just going to do the last step in uh, making this game day charcuterie board. Now, this step is going to keep your wife from taking your charcuterie board. So make sure you can do this last step. And that'll ensure that this charcuterie board will be yours for your friends on game day. So we finished up our game day charcuterie board and you can take a look at it. You people from Boston will, will like what we've made here. But you can put your own logo on there if you have one of these laser uh this one's called a laser pecker, and I think it's a couple hundred dollars. But So if you don't want your wife to steal your charcuterie board, make sure that you do that last step. If you like the content, hit subscribe. We'll try to bring you more in the future.